Hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm a mom to four. I love to homeschool, I love to read good books, and I love to chat about both of those things on this channel. So thank you for stopping by. And so today's video, I wanna share a bit more about what we have been doing for science. We have just completed our first unit study for the year, and that was on plants. And to remind you, my kids are six and a half, first grader, and five, kindergartner. And then I have a couple of toddlers in there too, but mostly the six and a half year old and the five year old are who I've been gearing this towards. And so you'll see that when it comes to what resources I share. And so we followed elemental science. It's called biology for the grammar stage pretty closely. What I want to share today is kind of twofold. First, what we did for this program. So it'll be kind of like a review of this program as well as what I added extra. So what are some of my extra books and activities and things that we did? So those things, and then I'm gonna kind of wrap it up by my overall thoughts. Let me start first with books, cause I love books. And so the plant spine book was the Basher Science Biology, Life As We Know It. And so these are really cute. If you haven't seen the Basher books, they just have really fun little pictures and just a little bit of information. So it's not too bad, it's definitely geared towards those elementary kiddos. And so that's what the curriculum instructed us to read out of. And then this is the book where we did our demonstrations. Janice Van Cleve's Biology for Every Kid. This is 101 Easy Experiments That Really Work. We love this book. The demonstrations in here were really good. I think the demonstrations might have been my kid's favorite part of this whole program. So let me finish off with the books and then we'll come back to some of those demonstrations. I have some pictures to show you. Okay, so as for extra books, I went to the library and I got a number of extra books. And so this one we really liked, the Let's Read and Find Out Science, Why Do Leaves Change Color? That was a good one. We also picked up this book, Leaf Jumpers by Carol Gerber. This was a really cute one. It didn't have a ton of text on the page, but it's really cute. So we liked that one and it was a perfect picture book for our morning time, as was this one. I'd say this might've been my favorite one because it's just so pretty. So let me show you some of the pictures so you can see it's just gorgeous. And we used this as an inspiration for some water coloring. So it was just beautiful. It's a beautiful book about flowers. I wouldn't say that you learn a ton about it, but I just thought it was so pretty that it was probably my favorite. This might've been my kid's favorite one, seeds. And they just got to look at all the different plants and things like that. So they really liked this one when we got to the seed section. And then this one was a good, another good one for flowers, the reason for a flower. And so I will link some of these below, but a lot of those books were actually recommended in this program. It gives you a book list and I just went through it and requested stuff from the library. So that was really good. And we also use Nature Anatomy. I love this. It's great for inspiration again. My kids loved looking at the leaves, the grasses. We pulled it out, I think, for a watercolor mushroom. So let me put that picture up here. Is we were talking about mushrooms and I was reading from the text and, and then I just gave them nature anatomy to look at as an inspiration and they just watercolored, as you can see. It was really fun. It wasn't necessarily in the program. That was something we just did extra. All right, let me just talk about the demonstrations since I already mentioned it. And so the demonstrations were good. It's a very hands-on, tangible way to teach this age science and to get this age excited about science. We did a demonstration on flowers and put the stems in different color liquids and then it dyed the white flowers. And so they really liked that one. And then the other one they really liked was this bean one where we were talking about roots. Is you put the little beans under some paper towels and you, you place them either up, down, and so they gotta predict. They're like, the roots are gonna go up because that's where it comes out. Or they're gonna go to the side because that's the way we faced it. And then we just let it go and we watered it every once in a while and then we came back and they both, when they looked at it, they're like, what? All the roots grew down? They were just astonished. It was really neat. And then like their dad got home and they told them all about it. They're like, dad, look at this. They didn't grow up. They went down. It was really cute. And so I, I feel like that is some of the best examples of how you can reach this age with science is through just visual experiments. So that was really cool. We did a unit project where we planted a bean. I think it was a pinto bean out of my cupboard. And the, the little plants have gotten huge. I'll take a picture of them. And then there's a third red cup because my son got a seed out of his apple and was like, I'm gonna plant this. And so he's just been planting everything to see what happens. And I'm like, it might not work, but actually it did. It's starting to grow the little apple seed. So it's been really cute. And they've just really enjoyed seeing plant life in action. The next thing I wanna talk about is within elemental science, 
it encourages either notebooking or lap booking and I had both and I wasn't sure so we started with a notebooking where you read from the spine book and then you kind of ask them to narrate back which didn't quite work very well for us and I think it's my inexperience at narration as well as them not knowing what I'm asking for but that wasn't as good we we switched then to the lap book which you'll you'll see pictures of that here and that went a little bit better I feel like they retained some information, but mostly they just enjoyed making the lap books, so that was just a bigger hit for them. That part I would take or leave, I, I don't think I did it very well. It made me feel like I was quizzing the kids and I feel like they felt that way and that didn't go very well. So moving on, some extra activities. So this probably, short of the demonstrations, was my favorite part, is I decided I wanted to repot a lot of our houseplants and get some new houseplants. I, just have been neglecting our houseplants since the twins were born and so we just kind of revamped it and I thought I'd bring them along I'd be like let's just teach them this life skill and so I'll insert a video or a picture I can't remember what it was of them helping out and they loved it it's gonna be fun huh oh. It. and we picked out a little succulent for each of them and so it's really fun they've been really enjoying taking care of their little plants we also did a nature walk and picked up different leaves I wanted to see if they could find all the different types of leaf patterns and so on our nature walk they collected a bunch of leaves and so it was really fun and I'm gonna wrap up this whole unit by taking them to the botanic gardens tomorrow so they're super pumped I would like to do that at the end of unit studies is kind of have like this big either field trip day or something like take them out to a restaurant. It really depends on what the unit was, but they kind of expect that now and they really look forward to like, well, what's the big thing we're going to do before we start our next thing? So botanic gardens for this one, which makes sense. I would say overall, I liked the program. There are some things that it was just, I'm not sure if it was age of my kids or the inexperience I have with narration and they have with narration, but that just part did not take and it felt very awkward and not very fun, which I am determined to make science fun because I just love science so much. And so in our future unit studies, which I'm actually planning the human body one next, I plan on doing it a little bit looser. I think I'm gonna still kind of stick to a little bit of the biology for the grammar stage but I might not, I'm not sure. I just wanna bring a little bit more fun into it and I know how to design curriculum and studies like this. So I think I'm gonna branch out a little bit and see what happens. So look for future videos on that because I'll share on it. We'll see how it goes. It might be awesome, it might not, but we'll see. Anyway, so that is my thoughts on elemental science on the plant unit study that we did, including all our extra resources. I hope that was helpful. I've had a number of people ask me about science, about elemental science in particular, and so that is what we have done so far since we started homeschool this year. And please leave a comment below if you have any questions. And otherwise, thank you for stopping by. And please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you like what you see. And I will see you in the next homeschool video. So have a wonderful day and take care. Okay.